Welcome back to the last Raven tutorial videos. In this episode, I will try to teach you how to build an AC that not only controls how you want it, but also is an overall great AC. In Last Raven, you are able to have up to 5 different ACs. By pressing square here, you can open up this little menu with 5 ACs that you can save builds on. At the start of Last Raven though, you will have only basic beginner parts which when used together don't really perform that well. Luckily, Last Raven starts you off with a bit of cash, so you can buy a few AC parts to improve. Although this will not be the case if you imported your save game from an older game like Nexus or Ninebreaker. But you most likely will have enough parts as it is at that point. The important thing when you build an AC is to know what kind of playstyle you want to go with a bit beforehand. First you need to think to yourself, do I want to go for firepower, speed or defense? What you should first do is look around for parts that fit your planning. If for example you want to stick with one stat, press square here and you can sort the parts based on any statistics you find important. Got a nice AC that could take a hit, but it's a bit middleweight because of its defenses, but you don't want to be slow? You could go for a powerful booster along with a lightweight strong radiator to compensate. Once you have your main body built, you should start looking into what weapons you want to use. Or maybe you plant the weapons first and then you build the body to work with it. When choosing your parts, try to avoid deadweight parts. You need to really think if you want that part there for sure, or if it will be too situational. If for example you want to build an AC that can perform well in tight corridors or indoor missions, it might be smart to avoid using missiles then, because they would hit more walls instead of enemies and end up being a waste of weight and energy. Try to avoid going extremely into one direction with the statistics unless you are a seasoned veteran that can work around the shortcomings. Putting everything into low weight will make sure your defense and ammunition are a gigantic weakness of that AC. The repository is a place where you can put AC parts you think are not worth your time, and this makes it not show up in your assembly. This is not something I ever felt the need of using, but if you are certain you will not use a certain piece of equipment, you can store it in here. If you want to test your AC, Last Raven offers a test mode consisting of either a bunch of MTs, a basic AC, or a simple empty space so that you can choose what you want to test and how you want to test it. If you feel the test AC is too easy, there's one more thing, the VR Arena, which stands for Virtual Reality. In here you can bet some of your credits to challenge an AC in a set arena specifically for that AC, and if you win, you get more credits back than you lost. The ACs in this here gradually get harder and harder, with the top one being one of the cheapest and most dangerous AC in the franchise. If you want to test something out with more concrete data to compare something to, you can on your own use multiplayer so you can test out some builds performance compared to the other builds. The multiplayer also has a single player aspect to it where you can fight pre-made ACs in PvP. One more thing to talk about. Enemy ACs will do things that might confuse you, like firing their special back-mounted weapons while moving despite them using humanoid legs, or having way more energy or cooling than they should have. This is a feature that was introduced in the PS1 games and was called Human Plus. This feature was a cheat and would in later games be turned into an optional part called OP Intensify. This cheat was removed starting from Nexus, however enemy boss AC still used this feature, which makes them all the more deadly. If you are looking for some examples of AC builds, check out this playlist where I rebuild a bunch of ACs by request. This now covers how to build your AC. Tune in next time where I will talk about how to approach the single player in story mode to give you a smooth experience. Till next time, Ravens.